March 2nd at 1 p.m., we're going to be doing a catalog session of over about 350 lots. We're so excited at Mavin Auction because of the recent discoveries right here in Alamance. Like the wooden box churn. Well, this right here is not wooden box. It's over here in the showcase, man. I'll get it out in just a second. I'm, I'm sorry you, you misidentified, uh, misidentified this one. I should, you're going to cut that, ain't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this piece of pottery is not Chester Webster. Uh, I just want to let you know that everybody has their own opinion, and thank you for yours. This piece of pottery is not Chester Webster. I'm going to go back to my original uh, assessment of this piece and attribute it to the Webster family. It is wood and bogs. Uh, thank you again, Matt, for that information. Recently discovered by two North Carolina pickers here. I got a flutter in my heart when my dad picked the piece of pottery at about 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. This is a beautiful two-gallon salt glazed churn that was very well potted and executed. Look at the form. Look at the uh, look at the glaze. Look at the condition. Original, untouched. Look at the handles very closely. When that potter sculpted this piece, he took his time with the handles. He incised also two sets of rings here. He does have a capacity of the gallon underneath the handle. He's got a beautiful little uh, little uh, area here. This beautiful salt glaze, what we call orange peel effect. This is a Chester Webster or the Webster School. I think he was potting one day. He done everything perfect. I truly believe he got tired and said, that's all for today. I could have very easily seen a fish and sliced here in the mid body. Look closely, look at other examples. You can agree with me or not agree with me, but my feeling is Webster School, North Carolina, mid 19th century. Conditions outstanding, overall excellent. If he was the one that made this pot, he would have took his number two stamp, a number two stamp that is so proud. He would have proudly put that two right here for everybody to see. He would not have tucked the two under the handle. Wow, that two looks very familiar. <clears throat> also, well, they interchanged the twos at that time. You think that. Chester Webster barred that two? It's very possible. It could have been from the same order because they only had supplies coming in sh at short periods of time, and potters did share some of their stamps. Um, got your signature? Yep. You also know, if you want to let your uh, your listeners know, that J.T. Boggs marries Solomon Loy's sister. You knew that, did you?